morning. Guess who still hasn't gotten the tire figured out? She haven't had time to go to Tire King. So I just got an eye doctor appointment. We got up real early. It's before eight and I've done a ton of work for work. And Sarah's already edited the vlog. Oh. Look at what I picked up from Publix today. They are cheese filled bear claws. So we are home from my eye doctor appointment. We also stopped at Publix. I thought that I was going to be going alone to my appointment and I wanted to get a couple of birthday things for Peter. Um, we are staying on Disney property tomorrow night and he's also getting his tattoo. Um, but I just wanted to get him like a little cake. He's in the other room. Um, and a couple of other goodies just to have the morning of. When I am putting everything together, I'll show you guys. Um, this will go up after he gets it anyways. Plus, he really doesn't watch the vlog. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I feel like once he's done with work today, we'll be in, like, birthday weekend mode. So, um, our friends, John and Caroline, they, I don't know if you, we've talked about them before. Their channel is C Sean Vlog. They messaged us and they were just like, Sarah, like, you just love to celebrate. And I really do. I love any excuse for treats, for extra little bits of fun. Um, and so I love birthdays. Oh, I think I was talking about my half birthday and that's when they said that. Um, so we have these cheese bear claws. Peter loves cheese Danish. And so it's like a nice little mix of pastry and cheese. Um, as far as my eye appointment went, my prescription didn't change, which is great. I have really poor eyesight and I wanted to get glasses, but there's so many restrictions with my prescription because my lenses are so thick. There's only certain, I mean, when you're at the eye doctor, there's only certain, um, frames that you like. And it was just like adding up, up, up. Evie wants the pastry. You smell it? I'm sorry, honey. Ugh. So I just opted out. I am going to do some trial daily contact lenses, which should be interesting. A lot of my um, eye um, coverage is actually medical because my eyes are so bad. Um, so that works more in my favor than glasses because glasses are a little bit more like, you know, extra fun. You're picking your lenses. There's like designer um frames and all of that they want me to like pay more to get thinner lenses but like my lenses are so thick anyways like they said they can't even guarantee it would really even be that thin um so i think i'm just gonna opt for buying glasses online i got my prescription i guess like they have to provide you that um so let me know below if you've had like success buying glasses online. My friend did send me the website that she goes to um, and I've started to scroll through. But if you guys have good experiences, let me know. Look at my cute assistant. He's very distracting. <laughs> I didn't plan on taking my break right here, but Sarah just called me. I left uh, work a little early to go on my run during daylight. So I wanted to do it late, but I think I should, why not show you Winter Park Golf Course? Public course, nine holes, I think. Beautiful, beautiful during the daylight. A couple people here. Actually, it looks like there's a, a wedding going on over at like the, I don't know what that is, fancy golf house. The trees all lit up at nighttime for people hanging out at the clubhouse. Once again, this time, didn't need my sleeves. It's 70, so forgot how it is in the sun, but we're getting through it. Getting on the miles. I'm crossing 24 miles after this run for the week. These two friends of mine needed some rest. It's like six o'clock. I came home from my run, took a shower, got myself put together, but Sarah got up real early to edit the vlog before her eye doctor appointment. So she needs this rest, so I don't think she'll be perturbed, but I think I'm gonna let her sleep. At least until seven maybe. Then I'll wake her up and see what we're gonna do tonight. But look how cute they look. In the meantime, I'm going to crack open some dogfish head beer that we got for our 
staycation celebration tomorrow. Um, but I'm not going to drink 12 of them tomorrow night. So I'm going to bust them open tonight and let the celebration begin and have an apple or something. Um, I've had, so I got a six pack of the Dogfish Head IP, 60 minute IPA. Let me show you. So Publix had the BOGO, um, picked up the 60 minute and then this slightly mighty low cal IPA. Sarah suggested I get it just for the aesthetic of the design. And that's what happens when you marry a graphic designer. So I've had this before and I like it. I like Dogfish Head, they never steer me wrong. So hopefully the aesthetically pleasing graphics of this don't steer me wrong either. But I think I'm gonna have one of these tonight. Or maybe one of each tonight and then we'll, we'll save maybe the rest for tomorrow. Ooh, the aesthetic continues. Dogfish Head was the first like microbrew I ever like truly knew of besides um, Goose Island. But I think they were one of the first ones to sell to a big, big like mega brewery. I think. Let me know down below if I'm wrong and they, they're still micro. Now I don't know if Phil Rosenthal would approve, but him, us watching the sole episode of Somebody Feed Phil, got Sarah Hankern for some noodle dishes and we were on our way to do some springs and I said, wait, let's check out Bento. So I, we ordered online and I'm about to pick it up and we're gonna eat it in the car and maybe still head to springs. Ooh, should I, should we eat out here? Uh, I don't know. Look at that, quick and easy. Well, we did wait in the car for like 20 minutes, but we wait in the car with James chilling, listening to music, then run in and grab our bento. Also, gotta throw some, some respect at the Petruses. They're the ones who originally told us about bento, and I have actually been here a few times at work because my office, there's an Orlando Eye, my office is actually just a few miles over there. And there's bento. Really good burger place called The Whiskey over there. We got sush. I took some shots, so we don't have to explain ourselves. It's a carb pre-birthday dinner date. We got Sarah's beef bowl. <sighs> Smells delectable. Wait for it. We got my veggie rice bowl. Rice bowl. Oh, this is like a. It's a. It's an eight pounder. Wait. Wait, there's more. Oh my god, what if I just spill this beef all over the place after waiting for this? And the car Did would you smell say forever. that we waited a while? For 20 minutes. We got some veggie rolls. Mm -hmm. We opted out of eating at Disney Springs for this. Yeah, wait, and we got, got our sauces. Attention. Did you add a sauce? I, I got ginger dressing. That's right, we got ginger dressing, spicy sauce, Mystery sauce. <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that. That's all I gotta say about that. Look at that chair. I need that chair for my birthday. That's nice. For my birthday? For your birthday is tomorrow. What about that ladder? That little reminds me of like a Hawaiian skirt, but a Midwestern <laughs> version. That's a Midwestern Hawaiian skirt. I feel like this has happened before with Sugar Boo. When we have a gift card, we have a gift card. We get so indecisive on what we want, and then we end up just leaving. We don't have a gift card. Have we, we want seen everything. this big tree before? I think so. Maybe we just haven't seen this big tree at night. I want this dress for my birthday. It's literally oh, that's such perfect. a cute purse. It's a domino. It's, that dress is literally made for Sarah. Sleeves, but they're like see through me. They look at the yeah, collar. With the... So that. cute. Look. From Kate Spade. I'll have to find a new Do you love this song or what? You don't? I do love it, but you for some reason think I really love it. So it was like, it was playing somewhere on the vlog. You're like, this is Sarah's song. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm a fan. I love a good like sing along. 
But you went, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> All Sarah wanted. Oh, I think I'm getting shysted again. I was gonna say all Sarah wanted was a B bad from Savannah B Company, and it was closed right as I walked up to it. And now Sarah ran to the bathroom, and I was gonna sneak into Maria and Enzo's or Pizza Ponte and get her a San Pellegrino, but now that's closed. So we're going home. This is a good quick visit. I enjoy, I always love, Raglan Road live music is like probably my favorite thing to do at Disney Springs. One day, we'll get a table out there and just hang out there for like five or six hours. I did that once. It was quite the adventurous night with two of my friends. Um, Sarah wasn't even there. I ended up with dancing at the hideaway and all kinds of debauchery. I can't believe I finally broke it to you. That sweet Caroline, isn't that my top? I think you're thinking... On the eve of my birthday. Do you think that I, it's come on Eileen that you're thinking of? Probably. I don't know how my mind works. Maybe I just had like one really good jam out session to it and you fell in love with me when you were watching me jam out. Actually, no. That was Jump On It. That was. In the eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> I swindled, Peter. I forgot that Coca-Cola Santa's the best. We were about to leave. And I said, but do you want to get some birthday Beverly? He's like, no. He's like, come on. And he said not to butter him up with Beverly, but it worked. It worked. Are we, are you going to get like a big, large, like a... Um, like a 16 on, like the standard. So like you're not going to get the, the mixed drink, you're going to get oh, the... Oh, the alcohol drink? Yeah. No, it's not. That's garbage, Beverly. It's not Beverly enough for Peter. Yeah, I mean, it's they put Beverly in it and they put a bunch of mixes and you don't even taste the Beverly, man, so replace the Beverly with water. And just say it's Beverly. Sorry. Sorry. I'm very passionate about my Beverly. Oh my goodness, our favorite Disney Springs artist came out with a Christmas CD. We might just have to buy it. For my birthday. If you want to buy it, there's the info. Oh, look what Sarah got, and she has I'm to chug it. like, salivating. And we, yeah, we're not allowed to leave with the with yeah, glass, so she's going to down it up here. I'm getting my large, did you, surprise, surprise, I got a 32 ounce of Beverly. I was hoping you would. I didn't know what size is that. If I, I would run a marathon with a Camelback of Beverly if someone bought me, a, like, a vendor supply of Beverly. Would that be good for you? No, it would be awful. Oh. Oh. How was your Beverly? It's Bevelicious. It's been, I you forgot, it's, had it it's been really a long, long time. time since I had it, so when I drank it, I was like, whoa! I was like, I just love it, but I just... Caught you by like, surprise. It, it woken up a part of my soul that's been dormant. This is a sleeper city. This whole time? Focus on the cuteness. All right, December 11th. Birthday Eve for me. The Dalai Lama states, There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday, and the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly live. Oh dear. It's late. Oh dear, we look like it's late. <laughs> we gotta get to bed. Mm -hmm. Busy day tomorrow. Yeah, but a fun, relaxing day too. Yeah. It's technically your birthday, so happy birthday. Thank you. Leave a comment down below. Wish you a happy birthday to Peter. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Here's a quick little Jamesy boy feature. I feel like whenever we go out and he's all tucked away and nice and cozy, we don't get to see much of him. That translates to happy birthday, Dad. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.